What's the role of reforms now that we're approaching a stage of normalization? What do you think is the role of reforms in making us approach a level of uh, recovery, high level of recovery uh, in the near future? Well, you know, reforms, as you probably know, have a bit of a dirty name in, in Greece. They've become a, a catch-all for, for everything from uh, pension cuts to tax increases to uh, people being laid off. So you've got to be careful when, what you say here. But, I mean, there is still a little bit of work to do on the fiscal front, not in terms of just cuts, but in terms of trying to, and I think, you know, the government has recognized this publicly on the pension system, which has suffered both from revenue side from something like the public or the PSI, which uh, basically caused a lot of damage to their assets, but also something on the spending side, because we do have a lot of spending as a share of, uh, of GDP on pensions. But really beyond that, I mean, that should be the end of what fiscal structural reforms need to do. The real reforms need to do with things which have to do with uh, the banking system and uh, the, how they deal with the non-performing loans, so the legal framework around that. Uh, there's definitely work to be done in terms of simplifying uh, the business environment but, uh, and the licensing environment. And uh, really beyond that though, it's about building state institutions. And that is not legislative, it's about doing the hard slog technical assistance work and you know, training people up and giving them incentives to deliver. And this is very important, say tax administration, which is the most important. But uh, in other areas too, I mean, public administration, there's a long list of things you could do there and they're in the memorandum, some of them. Others, the government has its own ideas on, which is valuable. And I think that is what, where Greece really stood out vis-a-vis -vis other Eurozone economies, that program countries like Portugal and Ireland. I mean, Greece, even Cyprus, Greece had a weaker starting point in terms of its public administration. It's made some, it had very good civil servants. Compared even to other countries such as Portugal, Spain and, and... That's what we hear from, uh, from uh, both from the institutions that have worked in Greece, but also in other countries, but also from investors who've come and visited Greece. They have the sense that, you know, Greece has got very good civil servants, but there's a small number, a relatively small share of them doing too much of the work and that there isn't uh, a critical mass that there is in other countries. Uh, for example, some investors came and told us that, you know, Turkey uh, has uh, sometimes better civil servants than, uh, than Greece, which is surprising, uh, or Egypt in some cases. So Greece has some work to do there, but uh, this is long-term work. This shouldn't be the painful stuff that we've lived through the last five years. This is building state institutions. and. It's a two-year job, really, three-year job. And I'm optimistic we'll, uh, we'll get there. The government, I think, uh, has realized that this is the path it has to follow. And so um, I, I think uh, you know, if you can disassociate the word reforms from painful fiscal measures, I think there's a public support to, to get the job done.